Hello there, Stefan and Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. And today we talk about beats, all about beats. A beating action with a sword is basically one that displaces the opponent's sword to give you an opening for you to attack into. Okay, so for example, if Stefan's blade is here on my inside, so for me it's on the left side of the sword, then I want to also displace it, or I can displace it here and strike into that opening, either with a thrust or a cut. Okay, there are in Giovanni della Gocchi at least, two ways that you can perform a beat. The first one is with a true edge. Okay, so the true edge strike would be just throwing a basic mezzo mandrito or even a full dritto or dritto tramazzone, so going all the way through and then striking on that inside space around here. The most prominent one is just displacing here and then thrusting the punta reversa. Why? Because, well, you're still covering that line fairly well. Okay, another kind of beat would be with the false edge. So especially if my opponent is in corda longa stretta, right, then performing a beat with the true edge isn't that feasible anymore. If you just rotate a bit here, yep, that should be fine, then you see that that sword is pointing towards my dominant shoulder quite a bit. If I strike with the true edge around here, then, well, my sword just gets collected into the strong of my opponent's blade. And since my beat is directed towards the sword, well, that leaves me quite open, okay? So either Stefan can just thrust around my own blade, but even if he then just turns his blade into Guardi di Faccia, he would probably get the best of me. And I don't like that. So, instead, I want to strike that sword perpendicular. So not striking into that angle, but into basically the flat of the blade, striking it now into this direction, not in that one. Okay, so from here, I could use the false edge strike, a false edge beat with a falso dritto, and then follow up just like before, uh, more likely now with another strike. So it's usually a dritto tramazzone. So from here, striking and extending here, okay? Another opportunity that would be also totally covered by the source would be especially if the opponent's blade is maybe a bit uh, lower, then collecting that blade from underneath with a false edge strike would be feasible as well. So before I went with my point above the opponent's sword, now I can go below the opponent's sword still strike it towards my inside, and then strike around, still with the Dritto Tramazzone. Let's see that from an angle as well. So especially against low swords, if you go one, two, a bit slower maybe, that's the first motion, displacing it towards my inside, and then I basically use that kind of opening to strike towards. All right, so. True edge, false edge, well, the false edge is a bit stronger. The true edge generally leaves you a bit safer and the thrust out of the true edge is a bit faster. But if the opponent's sword is pointing towards your true edge, well, then you're probably gonna have a bad time, okay? Last up, when you should use uh, beats in general, well, you don't want to use them if you have an opponent that is very counter-attack uh, happy or just likes to disengage and counter-attack you. Because remember, a strike towards a bait, blade, a beat, is an action that, not, that doesn't threaten your opponent, so it's a tempo, a movement, that he can abuse to just strike you. So if I do this slowly, he just disengages, and that's a fairly big disengage. If you just go for a thrust, then that's the way quicker answer. And while I struck towards the blade, disengaged and thrust me in the same time. And I can do basically nothing here, right? Because my strike to the blade was committed. So instead, what I want to do, or when I, do I want to do uh, the beat? Either if he gives me a tempo, so for example, from a low position, he just brings the sword into that kind of space, 
right? So I'm working into a movement. Or maybe he's a like bind happy kind of fencer that actually wants to give me the blade, wants to control the center. Well, then I can just use that kind of motion that he likes to go here and use my inertia to displace him and get that thrust in. Okay, so what to take away? Well, you can beat basically in two kind of fashions, either with a true edge, and that for, uh, goes for both sides, of course, or with the false edge, right? With the false edge either from below or from above. The follow-up action should be always in the opening that you created. You don't want to do this against fences that like to just counter thrust you and disengage. You want to use the tempi, the movements of your opponent to beat or go against fences that especially like you to, to offer their blade, to place it in the center, to win the center themselves. There the beat is an awesome action. One last thing that just came to my mind, where should you beat the sword? Well, of course you don't want to beat into the strong of the blade because then, well, you have a leverage disadvantage but you also don't want to be too far towards the devil blade, the weak of the blade, because their disengages happen way easier on the one hand. On the other side, making a big movement here just makes a very small movement in the hand, so it's fairly easy for the opponent to react to that kind of beat. And even if I strike it here, well, they can just absorb the pressure and, for example, with the Tramazzone, come back around. Okay, so where you generally want to strike your beat is around the mezzo spada, the middle of the sword, maybe a bit towards the beat, maybe a bit towards the strong, so this, all this area is kind of fine, but here you can uh, transfer a good, good amount of energy into the opponent's blade, also displacing the hand quite nicely, while not risking so much that they just disengage around. Okay, if you have further questions, just leave them in the comments. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.